Thank you for coming. Uh, in this show, I'm taking part uh, with a video work, uh, Driven. It's a collaboration with another Swedish artist, Monica Larsen Dennis, there. And uh, this is a short um, uh, presentation. Okay. starts here yeah this is a documentation from uh, a screening at PS1 2001 This piece, Driven, uh, is done with Monica. And we met at the Royal College of Art in, um, in Stockholm, 97. And we have done several works together, uh, including performances, public installations, text-based works, and video. This, this is a still from the video. And this piece relates to, um, it's about relationship, gender roles, trust and mistrust, and power, and the passion, and also the sensualist in taking notice of small details. Here you see driven at the PS1. Especially like when we show driven as a large scale presentation to see the contrast to the um, to the piece, which is so private and intimate. Something happened. It doesn't come up. I'm pressing this down here. OK, we have to press harder. <laughs> this is another outdoor public screening. And uh, this is in the center of Stockholm. It's the biggest square. And it's done during the, when the city was the cultural capital of Europe. Here you see driven projected onto a castle. It's at the Vanos Foundation in Sweden. Vanos Foundation is a sculpture park. And so here you see another uh, work we have done together. It started out as a public installation at the airport in Stockholm. The title is Around and Around, and these sentences were printed onto the luggage carousel. So when you were standing there looking for your luggage, you got these sentences. And uh, it's about the failing to communicate in a relationship and the limits of language. We have done this piece into a postcard, so especially for this show, so you're welcome to get one when you step out from this talk. I also want to show you more of my own work. I do videos and uh, large-scale photographs. So this photo is one by four meters. My work is focusing on masculinity and the contemporary man. It's about playing roles and a, as a woman and as a man. And it's also about the social expectations of being a grown-up. Somewhere else is both a photograph and a video work. It's, of course, about the sexual gaze. I'm a woman looking at these men, and I'm also directing them 
what to do. In the video, I ask them to open and close their legs in a special rhythm, so it becomes like a, a dance, a choreographed dance. I use different symbols of power, like architecture, and in this case nature, but also beauty itself. This picture was shot in uh, San Francisco at Stinton Beach. The piece is about the, um, f the fear and the freedom of losing control, to be in something larger than yourself. And in this case, it's very hard to control the nature My works are stories about powerful, vulnerable, and beautiful and insecure individuals. Here you see the dot-com people, the, the dot-com professionals, before the crash in 2001. It's shot in, in Stockholm. I always use real people in my work. I mean, if I need a businessman, I go out in the street and look for a businessman and I ask them to take part, and then I di I'm directing them. So I, I uh, transform reality, just one snap, like from when they have control, and then in this case, I put these men into the water, and they are in a surrounding that is unfamiliar, and they have to lose control. <clears throat> this is a video work. Here I use a well-known man for the first time. <laughs> this piece was done before 9-11. I think that's important. I wouldn't like to do it after. Um, I had an opening in New York City, the 7th of September 2001, which was a very intense and strange situation. During the first time, people were really laughing about the president. And then this horrible thing happened. And the gallery had to close because, I mean, this piece really got a different context. So it was difficult for even the gallery to know if it was appropriate to show it. But he showed it again and uh, he opened after three days. And the reaction was compact, compact silence. Um, I think this is my most shown work. I've shown this work consta constantly since then. And it's always changing with the current politics. I took the material from CNN and made a new story. It's all the silent pauses when he's not talking. So he's showing off not a powerful man, but the other sides. He's, he shows off insecurity and confusion of some, a person that's being afraid and a little boy that wants to get applause and a boy that wants to be loved by his father. Here's another work, maybe a familiar power situation. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> this photograph belongs to an ongoing series that started 2003. So far it consists of 11 photographs and I'm also doing a video work. Here I show people as still lives, as nature mortar objects. It's um, an equal objectification between men and women and objects. And it's also about life and death. I wanted the man to have bare feet, so you, you can see this living skin compared to the books that had leather fabric. So it's this contract, contrast in the piece. It's about being surrounded with something that you cannot control, or you can control your small area. I mean, the books are shaped after his body in the closest area. So you can influence your nearby area. These works are all very large-scale photographs. I like the physicality of approaching a photograph in, in a more physical way. 
Um, this man is like the story about the princess and the pea, but he, it's layers of our time that he has to relate to. For me, it's a contemporary archaeology. I feel that this structure is history, and we soon won't see any cars anymore, and we will feel that this was a very long time ago. Uh, this photograph um, is my latest project. It's both a series of four photographs and a video, video with the three channels. It's about security and of being enclosed and protected, but also the opposite of being isolated and not seeing the bigger picture. Like, being, like the journalist in the Iraq uh, in the war, they were called embedded journalists. They w went there to get, a big, to get a better picture of the war, but they were so um, embedded, so it was hard to get it. So this is both in your private life and in a bigger picture. I also think about the world and the nature at large, like the icebergs melting in Antarctica. In the video, I'm asking them to slowly move out of the bed. So it's like a waterfall, or they, they move very slowly, so it's, they almost move like insects or creatures that you don't know. It feels also very abstract. So they're going away, and um, I actually don't know where they're going. I'm curious to see where the men in my works are going. I feel like the people in my pictures are, they're not portraits of these people, really. They're more distant, and they are replaceable. It's more a constant flow of humans. And this was what I had to say, and if you are, have any questions, you're welcome.